We're going to start a blank workbook every time. There's no need for any of the styling or anything that comes from the templates. Excel is usually much better. Um, something I like to do, something you might find you like to do, is I like to leave a little space around the outside and start my uh, work on the inside of my document. So uh, what you're going to be asked to do is to do data mapping. And you've got to know the difference between table design and data mapping. All right. So this here is a table design. I'll show you a table design. So this is a table design. All right. You're going to be asked to do a data model. So I'm going to open up another sheet here and I'm going to show you the difference. So this is a table design. And this here is a data map. Okay. So the data map, you put in your table name and then you write horizontally your column names for this. Department name, depth, uh, budget, and I think that was all for now. So if I remember right, we have accounting, we have information systems technology, we had marketing, and we had personnel. So accounting, information systems, technology, marketing, and personnel. We have a budget. Our budget, let's say it's 50,000 for this, 50,000, 500,000, 600,000, because that sounds a little more realistic, and marketing a million, because that's where the money comes from, right? And personnel, ooh, 15. All right. So you see, I've just typed everything in so far. That's the sh long and short of it. Um, then what I want to do is make sure that I've kind of lay laid out my uh, headings so that they're a little more uh, visible. So I just kind of bold everything, take the table name, move it up a couple of sizes. And then I want to only underline my primary key field or fields. So department code gets underlined because it's a primary key. If you have a compound primary key, let's uh, go back to our book author example. We have a book ID and an author ID, right? And I think there was a sequence. So maybe it was a book ID of one, author ID of five, and then sequence number of two same thing for book ID 1, we also use author 3, they had a sequence of 1, and so on and so on. When we created the book author table, because an author uh, could only be on the same book one time, or a book would only have the same author written down one time, there's no need to put the same author twice on the same book in other words, we made these two a compound or a composite primary key. So we can hit those with an underline as well, and we can do the same whole process, bolding and bringing our table name up a couple of sizes. Uh, so you can see you have an underline for a single primary key, and we have underlines for compound primary keys as well. So underlines only on keys that are involved in the creation of a primary key for your table. And that is the long and short. Um, it's a really short example, and I'm kind of drawing on some of our previous experiences so you may have to look back at work that we've done but this is how a data map is done so when you're doing the test I'm not asking for a table design this early chart that we did often I'm asking for a data map so uh, you will need to do a data model and a data map now, obviously, this is not a data model for the same map. This map is just sort of random data. I just want to show you how it's supposed to look. And now you know.